Hi, welcome to question five of the 2023 paper two, Leave Insert Ordinary Level. If you want to copy of these notes, just send me an email to shanetroy at gmail.com and like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So question five here is, uh, I suppose, coordinate geometry circle question. So personally, I like these questions because they're kind of predictable, although this one is a little bit diverse. Um, the first one here is actually just two parts um, on the same scale, the a D scale. Okay, so if, with these kind of questions, normally if you get one part correct, you get the high partial. So that's like in this situation is eight marks. Um, so let's see if we can get one part correct. Now the diagram below, um, not to scale, shows a square with sides of length 12 centimeters. There's a circle C inside the square, so that's this circle here. Um, and touches all four sides of the square. Uh, the circle K is outside the square and goes through all four corners. So this is circle K. Now we're not given much detail, but we are told that this is 12 centimeters. Now, one thing when you see a center, well, I suppose we could argue that this is a radius, okay, from here to here, is the radius of circle C. And then, Further on, extending, um, this is the radius of uh, k. Okay, so I can see straight away that if it's twelve, um, if the diameter of c is uh, twelve, okay, well then the radius is half of that. So twelve divided by two is six, and just including the units, just in case, and the units are centimeters. So that's a fairly decent one. So we got one part right um, without too much work. Now the second part says, work out the area of the circle C and give your answer correct to two decimal places. So you'll see from the formula book that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now we know what pi is, okay, like I could estimate to be 3 pi 1, 4 or use the button on the calculator, which would be preferable. And I know from the previous part that the radius is 6. And it's worth noting that no matter what answer you got in part A, if you used it in part B, it should be accepted as correct. So like all times, we use um, brackets when we're substituting, okay? And instead of the radius here, I'm replacing that with the six, okay? So put that through the calculator, and I should get an answer of 36 pi. And I can use the calculator to convert that to a decimal, and I get 113.097. And we're rounding to two decimal places. So the seven here is what matters. And that causes the number prior to it go, to go up by one. Now that causes the nine to go up by one, um, which gives me 113.10, which I always find weird um, because they say decimal places, but like that could put some people off, but that's the answer. And then the units, uh, which would be important here, are a squared unit because it's an area and that's centimeter squared. Now, part C says, work out the percentage of the area of the square that is taken up by the circle. Well, look, the area of a square is, you could argue, length by width, but because both sides are the same, you're probably better off using length by length. And I know that the length of this is 12, so it's 12 times 12, which is 144 um, centimeters squared. Now, that's the area of the square, but the area of the circle is smaller. Now, I could just simply calculate that by taking away 144, take away, I think it was 36 pi. Now, 36 pi won't have any error in rounding because it's not rounded. Um, my calculator will handle that, so I should end up with, where am I? Oh, work out the percent of the area of the square. Okay, my bad. I should read the question. So that's the area of the square. Now, to get a percent, we're not just getting the difference, which is what I thought we were. Um, it's the area of the circle divided by the total area, the 144. And to get a percentage, you multiply by 100. Um, that comes out to be, now, it came out with 25 pi, but that's just a number. Uh, it's roughly 25 by 3. Um, but put it through the calculator, I got 78.5%. And then rounding to the nearest percent, the 5 will make the number prior to round up by one. So I get the 79%. So that's cool. Um, part D then says, show that the radius of the circle K is 8.49 centimeters and show that the two decimal places. 
Now, there's a hint here, and that's that the radius of the circle is uh, 4. Okay. Now, um, because the like square, the length of the square is 12, half of that, okay, because that would cut as a bisector, would be 6. And we create this right angle triangle. Now, if I see a right angle triangle, straight away, my brain goes to Pythagoras. Okay. Now, once I can identify that Pythagoras will work, so do I know two of the three sides of the right angle triangle? And I do. I'll just substitute the numbers I have in the right place. Now, in this situation, I'm looking for the hypotenuse or the longest side. So it's a straightforward version. Um, I get 6 squared plus 6 squared is the same thing as 36 plus 36, which is 72. Then using algebra to get rid of the square, because I want c, not c squared, I'm going to do the opposite operation to it. So I'm going to square root it. If I square root one side, I should square root the other, Okay, to be consistent with my algebra. Now, the consequence of that is that the square root and the square cancel. I'm left with c is equal to square root 72. Now, the calculator can simplify that to 6 times the square root of 2. Um, and I suppose no harm focusing in on that. Um, 72 is the same thing as the square root of 36 times 2, which you're allowed to express numbers differently under a square root. Now, there's a rule of square roots that two things multiplied under a root can be written as two separate square roots. And then the square root of 36 is the same thing as 6 times the root 2, which is better expressed as 6 root 2. It's the same thing. Now, 6 root 2, I need to turn it to decimal. So I've done that using the calculator. And then the question says round that to two decimal places. The 5 is what matters, and it makes the number prior to it round up by 1. And I get my 8.49 centimeters. So the radius is 8.49 centimeters. And I probably should have said true or shown or whatever. Now, the last step here is show or work out the circumference of the circle K. Now, the circumference of a circle formula is 2 pi r. And we need to know the radius of the bigger circle. Hmm. Um, Oh, yeah, sorry, I know that. So that's what I've just found. Sorry, I'm being stupid. So the radius of the bigger circle is the 6 root 2. And I, I'm not going to use the decimal version because it would be a little bit more inaccurate, although it doesn't really matter. Um, so the circumference is 2 times pi times 6 squared root 2. And I can throw that in the calculator. It'll handle it. I get a decimal answer of 53.314. So the 4 is what matters. Uh, it's less than 5, so the next number stays the same. And I end up with 53.31. It's a length, so it compenses a length, so it's centimeters. Okay, it's a lot of marks. Um, I suppose you had to realize that you had the radius. And it's a good example of whatever answer you got here. If you realize that that's what it is, but just couldn't figure out a strategy to get it, declare an answer for part D. Whatever you say here, um, will have to be accepted as fully correct in part E. Right, that's question five. So, look, good question. I like circular questions, uh, although that wasn't the coordinate geometry version. That was more area, um, um, length area, whatever. So, um, I think there was a question on the 2022 paper more along the coordinate geometry and using the formula for a circle and maybe focusing on tangents or chords. So, as always, if you want to copy of these notes, just send me an email at chaintroy at gmail.com. Like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. And see you on question six.